My capstone project concerns operations at Penn Station in New York and evaluating the institutional relationships between the various rail organizations that are housed and operate at Penn Station and then seeing how those dynamics and relationships impact scheduling and physical train and rail operations. Penn Station is the busiest station in the country. It's the hub of the entire Northeast Corridor and also much of the Amtrak system and planned high-speed rail that will change Amtrak's needs for the station. Daniel's work has been very helpful to ascertain where interferences occur and how one might operate the system more effectively in the interest of both the intercity and commuter passengers. Outcomes that I learned from my research are that there is a stakeholder disparity in power at Penn Station and that Amtrak does have priority they do own the property, while at the same time a majority of the passengers going into the station and using the system are commuters on Long Island Railroad and New Jersey Transit. At the same time, it appears that Amtrak cooperates, or at least their schedule is compatible with New Jersey Transit's schedule. Well, I think the, the audience was interested to hear three presentations in a row, my three students that all had technical content, but all also had the question of how the institutions and the stakeholders work together. Some of them may have been scratching their head and saying, what is this stuff? Is this really engineering? My answer is yes, it is engineering. It's engineering for the 21st century. I've always, I think, been interested in urban transportation. I grew up in Boston. I always loved taking the T and the subway. How does this work? Hopefully it's not breaking down or too many delays, <laughs> and sometimes it is, so how to make it uh, function better.